you know, it's um, life is about mistakes, right? We learn from our mistakes and we all know what mistakes we're making, but a lot of times we don't know we're making them when we're making them, right? So for me, I wanted to make sure that I stopped making mistakes, right? So I always made mistakes and I had to fix things. I became really, really good. I became really, really good at fixing things. And, you know, it happened through, you know, life as a kid, life in high school and college and everything else. And then in my business, as my, as my, as my time went on in my business, right? I became a fixer, right? I'm Dave Finale. I've been in real estate for a very long time. Um, over 40 years. I, I mean, I don't hate to admit that, uh, but it's really a good thing because I've been there and back. I've seen a lot of different markets, right? And one of the things I've learned that nothing works really well unless you help people. And my motto, and you can see it on my email signature, is I just want to help people. I've been in the real estate business, as I said, for over 40 years. I've been a, a gopher, I've been a shit cleaner and literally I've, I've done it all in new construction and renovations. I've done dirty jobs. I've done clean jobs. I've done jobs that nobody would do. I've designed multi, multi use buildings. I've designed multi unit buildings from start to finish, from shovel in the ground to drainage to everything. I've done all that. And I own my own brokerage for 21 years, which is really a highlight of, 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 of life for me because it meant so much because I've got to meet so many great people, right? What does that mean, right? So, but when you meet so many great people, you hopefully can like, just by osmosis, just like absorb some of the knowledge and stuff. I've had the opportunity and I've worked with great coaches, like starting with Joe Stump and John Cheplak and, and Haas Pratt and, and all these different coaches I've been able to meet and work with Tom Ferry's organization, Brian Buffini's organization, um, Rebecca Mountain. I can go on and on, and Grant Wise. I can go on and on and on with these people I've worked with. And not only that, I've actually worked with them in broadcasts and interviews and masterminds as well, many, many others. And it's all been really great to me. The thing that changed me an awful lot was a few years ago, uh, as I was as I was building my Century 21 office, my franchise, um, I realized that everything I was doing really wasn't working. What wasn't working? I was working my ass off and not getting to really where I wanted to be. Um, I had built two beautiful offices, two great offices, right? Um, and it was fun. It was fun doing that. And expectations of that was um, hoping... Well, the expectations really were, you know, making sure that my people that worked in the company, the agents, the real estate professionals had everything they needed. What did that mean? That meant leads, number one, because that's what all agents want, right? The great technology. My technology was better than anybody's. I swear to God, it was better than anybody's. Why? Well, I had a cloud like years before anybody knew what a cloud was, where agents could access their stuff. Yeah, when they first when the first iPhones came out, they could use their iPhone. That's right. Technology. Um, and instead of having to worry about floor time, right? I they didn't have to really come to floor time because I set it up so that the an answering service would call them with leads, right? The answering service would take over when nobody was there. So if they didn't show up, I didn't like it. I mean, it meant that they you know didn't have a commitment, but I still made sure it worked. But what happened? The frustrations got to me. It got to me physically. It got to me mentally and it got to me financially. So uh, around, you know, around 2016, 2017, and I said, you know what? There's got to be a change. I've got to change something. So, you know, I, I, I actually looked for a way out. Uh, I found that way out and I, I, I basically walked away from my business. Um, people were not happy about that, but I knew I had to do it for me. What was next? Well, if I had known about where I am today back then, I mean, a life would be completely different, but I didn't. So I walk away from my business. I, 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 I worked with the people to get everything rolling. And then I, um, I wound up going to a, a large independent company in the area where there were a lot of promises, right? And here's the one thing I want you to understand. The promises and what you expect are most likely going to differ from the reality that you walk into. 
oh yeah, Dave, there's going to be this and there's going to be that. And we're going to help you build your business and we're going to help you, you know, we've got over 200 agents. So we're going to help you build your coaching business and help them. We're going to support you. But it was all on my dime. There was no, there was no support behind the words. So when you look at expectations as compared to what the reality is, tell me about it. What's different? And then you ask yourself, well, if I own the company, what would I do? That was easy, right? That was easy. That would be support people, give them the coaching, but also start doing things that I didn't do was be a real boss and actually be a real, a real person to have expectations of agents. You see, I always said when I was with my Century 21 franchise that I wanted to work with people that wanted to work. And I still say that. For those that know me well and know me, they know that I want to work with people that want to work. If you don't want to put in the time, if you want to talk to me for hours and never do anything we talk about, I really don't want to talk with you anymore. I, I, I have no use for you. But the people that really see it and try to apply it and actually have difficulty applying it but need help, I'm there. I'm always going to be. So what happened? So as this situation wasn't working for me, I decided to, you know, start going after agents myself and start doing prospecting. So lo and behold, I run into this guy by the name of Brett Sakura, and we went back and forth on Messenger and he started talking to me about an opportunity. So I wound up meeting with Brett and Dave DeVoe here in Northern New Jersey and I got intrigued because we were talking about this new model that they were working in that I had heard about them um, and how they had actually disrupted uh, a huge company in Northern New Jersey by their exodus from that company and the agents that went. So I was, I, I was, I was curious because it was good enough for this big agent, this mega agent to go, I need to listen. And of course the conversation was, oh, we'll help you with this. We like what you're doing here. It was the same old conversation, right? So I had to think about why that conversation was different and what was going to be different about it if I actually made a move. So one of the things that they said that I could do, which was different right away was, hey, man, go hang out in the office. Go hang out and see how things are done. See how it all works out. And I did that. And, you know, it was like, what if, right? Um, I realized when I started hanging out before I made a switch, I realized what really was missing? You know, there was there was talk of everybody works together, everybody helps each other. And I know it's not the same throughout the entire company, right? So I looked at it and the collaborative effect was amazing, right? It wasn't that I would say in the morning, you know, I want to, I'm going to. It was, I get to, right? I, I have a ritual every morning. I, I, I write down affirmations and I write down gratitude, just like everybody should. And just a quick coaching tip, you know, you need to start your day with some kind of ritual to have positivity in your life. Now, some people don't need it. Some people are just perfect. I don't know who those people are. I've never met them. I had one national coach say to me, Dave, I just get up and I start working. And everybody I talked to about him after that, and I watched his videos, he was full of crap too. You know, he's a guy who gives away coaching for free, by the way. And, you know, you gotta be, you gotta watch integrity, right? So I digress. But anyway, I have ritual. And now with, I don't say, I never say I will. I do say I am. But the over, overloading tone, the overriding tone is I get to. You see, the expectation that I had working with these people of Brett Sikora, Dave DeVoe, Sekou Pyle especially, was that the expectation wasn't even close to what the reality was. No, because the reality outweighed the expectation. The expectations were exceeded, right? And I always worried, I worried in the beginning of what happens when I switch, you know? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? What's the best thing that could happen? But what's likely to happen? What was likely to happen was what all the typical business models in the real estate brokerage field would happen. That was what was likely to happen. I didn't want to think about what was worse to happen, worse to happen, but that but the worst thing that could happen was that, you know what? I got to move again, or I got to find something or start something. I didn't want to start my own brokerage. I had a lot of former agents over the past few years come up to me and say, Dave, you got to open a new company. We'll come work for you. Dave, you got to open a new company. I didn't want to do that. Why would anybody do that when there's my company, EXP? Why, why would anybody want to do that? I don't have to worry about what color the walls are. I don't have to take out the garbage. 
I don't have to worry about it. I don't need 85 freaking bank accounts because the state says I need to, right? Just imagine, if I had just imagined this earlier, and, and, and I can't, and you can't go back, as I said earlier, but, but what if, right? Think about you, what if? You know, this is about, this is not about um, what uh, everyone can do for oneself, it's about whatever you can do for themselves, right? Everybody worries about a move. I really wasn't too worried about because I helped agents move for over 20 years, right? And I knew what it was all about, and I knew there were difficulties. Well, here, the great part about anything that I do, you know, with agents joining me and I'm able to help agents, I'm able to do it with no frustration. I'm able to do it with, 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 with no, I mean, I have responsibilities to myself and the people that I bring along and help. But the responsibilities of financial, uh, broker responsibilities, having to buy insurances and taking out the garbage, I don't have to do that anymore. I am so free to help people. I have learned more in the past two years than I learned in the previous 20. Century 21 is a great franchise. It's a great company. It's not where it was years ago, but it's a great company. But that's a company I don't want to be with. I believe that the old brokerage models are broken. I really do. I believe the old coaching models are broken. If you're interested in finding out about those, we can have another conversation another time. You know, as a coach, which I consider myself a real estate coach, my company, Real Estate Skill Builder, I want success of agents. I want success. I don't want agents' money. That comes, right? As a broker owner, I needed the agent money. I needed them to do business in order for me to pay public service, electric and gas, so I can keep these lights on, right? I needed so I could so I could keep building my business, right? And it was difficult. You had people that would listen, that would do anything you said. And I'm sorry, it was 10% or less. We talk about the 80-20 rule. Well, the 80-20 rule may work in a real estate office. Remember, and, it, and, it's, and it's the same with every company. But the attitude is different than I'm with today, right? I said I wanted to help people. You know, I moved over to eXp Realty a couple of years ago. We're in 2021 in the spring now. And what I found is that I've got people that I work with. Now, where else could you go? How many times is your broker calling you at night and saying, how was your day? Did you do your, did you, did you make your calls? Did you do this? Well, we do that every day. We do that every night. We've got an accountability situation. We got accountability calls. We help each other every day. Everyone I am with in this business, and this is my business, helps people. I just want to help people. I help people understand themselves so they can understand their business. My name is Dave Finale, as I said. I've been a broker owner for over 20 years. I've been in the real estate business for more than 40 years. Yep, that's right. I know I don't look at it, I don't look like 25, 30. But, but the point is, is that I made a lot of mistakes. And I'm gonna keep making mistakes. But I'm making mistakes now with people that'll actually help me fix the mistakes. You see, um, as my good friend Sekou Pyle says, we make a mess. And then what I added was we clean it up and progress, right? We progress with what we're doing. We've got the people to help. We've got the we've got the um, the, the 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 resources of you know you need a CRM we got a CRM you need this we got that. But the thing is is that the people the attitude right? My expectations were far exceeded, and I'm not talking about technology. I'm not talking about leads. I'm not talking about anything. I'm talking about people. You know, there's the, uh, um, someone said that the culture will uh, will beat out strategies any day. Uh, you know what? I get that. There's another big company that has used that saying, right? But I will tell you this. I will tell you that um, what it's like to work in this company and what it's like to work with the people in this company nationwide. So when I was with Century 21, a franchisee, I worked with the people in New Jersey and I could talk to the people all over the country but nothing like I can talk to people here. I can pick up a phone and talk to a $300 million producer. I can sit with them side by side. And I do that weekly with a hundred of these people that are doing tens of millions of dollars. And we go down to the nitty gritty. I'm interested in helping people grow their business. I'm interested in helping people. My name is Dave Finale. Thanks so much for watching this, what turned out to be a long video. Have an awesome business. Have an awesome day. But better yet, get to an awesome life. 
work for that living but get and live for a lifestyle. But you know what I can do with this and what I'm doing now? I say work for a living, li or live for a lifestyle. I can cut the middleman out, work for a lifestyle. I hope to talk to you soon.